How is everyone doing? Let me make sure I can start this time. Yeah, I love y'all, but I don't want to do it again. I needed it on because it was stifling. Like, I'm burning up, y'all. It's hot. Over that, only you do. And so we put all of these things in your hands for now. I'm so happy to see you, and you, and you too. So, if you are a visitor, welcome. This is Blessed and Beautiful. My name is Renee. So, I hope that um, as you watch this video today, that you can see something that you like here at Blessed and Beautiful. And we pray that you would hit that subscribe button and then tap that bell so that the next time I upload a video, you'll be right there on the front row. So, What's up, ladies? It's so great to see you all. Talk to me down in the comments. Let me know how you all are doing. Um, how's this past week gone? What's going on in your state um, with the COVID-19? Like, talk to me down in the comments and let me know how things are going. I also hope that our three previous winners for the front row ladies, um, first, second, and third place, have gotten their... Um, their prizes in the mail so if you have received those please send me a comment so that I know that all of them have been um, received and today I have something that I received so I'm really excited this is um, something that I purchased that will help with our channel because we always like to talk about makeup so <laughs> it's makeup <laughs> so let's get to opening this box so this is really cute this is it says, uh, made in LA, and when you open her up, oh, that is beautiful, look at that, nicely packaged, this is very pretty, this is the first box that I've received that looks like this, it's almost like getting, um, uh, a monthly subscription, this is beautiful, it's packed really well, it's got lots of bubble wrap. And inside the bubble wrap, there's more bubble wrap. And they have a nice card here. It says, Happy Holidays. <laughs> There's two dogs there. Really cute. I love this pa packaging. Y'all know. Packaging. Love packaging. Okay. So, I was so excited. I found out that ColourPop... Um, did a collaboration with Hello Kitty. So the first item is this four pack. I always miss these. I always end up just getting the palette and these were always sold out. They sold out in like minutes. But these are Snow Cute Mini Glitterally Obsessed Kit. Okay. Look at this packaging cute. How many of you grew up with um, Hello Kitty and, and like, I think I had like Hello Kitty stickers and pencils and ink pens. Um, I didn't really have any like stuffed animals or anything. Hello Kitty for me was like school stationery. So this is the first time like really seeing it as part of makeup. And this is, this is Snow Cute. And this is so fitting because it snowed here this week. And all right, so these are really cute. This is a nice um, mini, like, compact little glass container, and it has this nice pink lid with the Hello Kitty bow and some stars. And under here, in some really extremely, I mean, just like tiny, tiny, tiny um, lettering, it tells you what they are. And this is a glitterably assessed glitter gel. This one is called Skate Date. Ooh. Try to hope that you all get the real 
color. This is kind of like a yellowish orange color with lots of white iridescent. It's very pretty. I like this kind of glitter because it stays, you know, you don't have to worry about using glitter um, primer or, or gel or glue or anything like that. Ooh, okay. This one is called Twinkle Me. Look at Lavender purples. This is so pretty. This one is actually the orange one. And this one is called Cozy Glow. Whoa, look at that. So very pretty. Now, if you don't like glitter, you're probably sitting there like, okay, I love glitter. And once I found out that if you use tape to um, get the glitter off of your face, that'll keep it from getting in areas you don't want it to be. After that, I was like, yeah, I'm all for the glitter. Okay, and this last one is called Ice Sparkle. It almost looks like it's for your lips. Oh, it says for body use only. So they actually really don't want it to be on your face. This is so cute. I don't know if you can see it, but it has like snow. No, not that one. This, this one. The snowflakes raised up with like white glitter on there. And look at her ice skating. And here's her sled with all the gifts on it. It's Hello Kitty. Big surprise. Lux Gloss Trio. So pretty. So, there was a group of things that was $42, and that is the eyeshadow palette, which I haven't gotten to yet, and the three glosses. And then the four pack of the gel was $20. Okay, so this is called Big Bow, and look at this sparkly goodness in there, it's ladies. This is so pretty. I like sparkle. I do. If I get a lip gloss and it doesn't have sparkle in it, I don't use it as much as those that do. Or I will add some. So, I don't know. I <laughs> love sparkle. Now, this one is kind of like a baby pink. Where this one is a little bit darker. It almost reminds me of like bubblegum. And this one is called So Chilly. I'm so mad that... This is so hard to read from the front. And this, again, lots of glitter, but it's just slightly darker than the first one. And then this one is called Icicle Pop. Icicle Pop. So, I don't know if I'll get you to be able to see that. But just take my word for it. <laughs> and look at this. It's like white iridescent and I know that you can see the glitter but it still just does not like really show you what I see so I'll take some pictures of these these are so pretty so I'm definitely gonna swatch those I love lip gloss all right and so last but not least here is the nine pan palette this is so cute Look at this, all of the snowflakes, and this is a snow globe with Hello Kitty, and I forgot this one's name, oh, My Melody, that's what it is, and these two friends, um, the twin stars, and on the back, it tells you what all the names are, this is so cute, and it's very iridescent, so, it's nice packaging, very nice packaging, and you know, they could not forget this red bow. Now, this is way smaller than I was expecting. So I am a little upset about that. This is tiny. I thought it was going to be at least... Wow, it's even smaller than their regular 9 pan palette sizes. their regular size palette and this is much smaller 
It'll be interesting to see if the palette cook. Oh no, these are screens. They're much smaller than this has way more. Let's open her up and see how she looks. What? There's no mirror? Wow. Okay, so of course there was a protective sleeve. And then here it says slay all day. That's right. We come to slay every day. And look at the colors. Very, very pretty. So as you've noticed, my face is not all the way done. And so we're going to use the Hello Kitty Eye um, and Lip Kit to finish up my look for today. I'm getting ready to go decorate the tree. <laughs> That's what I'm getting ready for. So get ready with me. I'll be right back. Okay. I've already done the rest of my face. Did my foundation, my uh, on my foundation concealer, powders. Everything is done. The only thing left to do is my eyes. And so since I am not sure if this product is going to be powdery um, or have any fallout, I'm going to put some of this powder below my eyes just to catch anything that may decide to fall. Oh my goodness! Okay. As long as I don't have any colors floating all over the place, we should be good. Okay. Alright, so again here is the palette. And it kind of reminds me of the Spanglish palette. And I actually have that out because I know, oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's like the same exact palette. What? I'm floored. Like, it's straight. The Spanglish palette. Okay, wait. Let me look at this one more time. So it does have a brown shimmer. Okay, so it doesn't have the purple shimmer. Okay. But this is like the, oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okay. Let me, let me swatch them first. Let's do that and then I can go from there. I'm not happy, y'all. These swatches, if there are any indication as to what this palette is going to do, I'm going to be very sad. The best swatches were these two right here. That's it. Like, I'm just going to stay in this area, maybe add a couple of shimmers. These four right here, chalky. All right, let's see how it performs. I went and got my NYX eyeshadow base, the white one. And that's what I'm gonna use. Let's start over again. I just want it to look like it does inside of the pan. see what I see in this mirror it's very very pretty yes I was a little skeptical next I'm going 
to put just right next to it. Hmm. Huh. I guess I'll put this snow glue color that's here. I'll put that. If it's a pinky color. I'll put it next to it. It's kind of like the same color but with more pink in it. Alright, so I'm going to take this really light blending brush, very, very light, like super light, and go into the pink and take that up to my brow bone. Oh no, I changed my mind. I'm going to do one chill from here up. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I had to blend a lot. A lot of blending is needed. And if you use a light um, background like I did, a, a light primer, then your colors will show up a lot better. Um, I don't know what I was expecting because it's like ice skating. There's no blue in here. And a lot of the decorations are blue. There's no blue. Um, I also thought a red would be in here, if it's, even if it was like a pinky red, but no, I'm not sure where these colors came from, but um, yeah, I was expecting something different, I guess. I didn't mess up and put the wrong color. Oh my gosh. And there's no mirror. I keep looking for a mirror on this palette. There's no mirror. That's a con. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go back to my original plan, which was to do Igly Blues this first, and then after that, I would do Snow Sphere. Snow, oh, Snowwear. I thought it said Snow So Igly Blues and Snowwear. I'm gonna do those. blues is like a pinky color a deeper pink with like a corally undertone to it it's really pretty that's from this color right here And I don't know if you can tell, yeah, I'm leaving some space because I'm going to either put a silver glitter or something in that little space. Or I might make it white. I don't know. Or something. Okay, so that's the big blue blues. Now remember, when you are going into your next color, you want it to fade from one to the other. So you're going to blend right over top of the first color. And then as you move out, bring it by itself. So that way, you can't really tell where one started and the other one stopped. Another sale before um, Christmas. You might be able to 
back. So, I mean, they have something for everyone. As you can see, I am back to my, my essence mascara. It's my favorite. I didn't like either of the two that came in the boxy charm, unfortunately. Uh, so, I'm mad because I already used them. I can't give them to anybody else, but they'll just be there for emergency purposes. Like, if I can't find this one, at least I'll know there's two others that I could use. But this is my favorite. I mean, like, I need to go buy two or three. Just in case they decide not to sell them anymore. <laughs> Don't you hate that? You find a product that you really, really like. It's like your holy grail. You can never do without it. And the next thing you know, they don't sell it anymore. Or they change the formula. Or they move out of the country. <laughs> Something. <laughs> oh, y'all hear Oreo snoring. <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm going to put on my lashes. And I'm going to, oh, let's do under my eyes first. Um, let's look at that. Totally forgot it in the last video, and nobody said anything. Nobody said, um, Slady, Renee, you forgot the under eye part. I'm just gonna bring this down under here. Either way, I think I'm going to try this one because it looks purpley and I kind of like purple. So that one is the So Chili. And I'm going to use the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Magnificent because everything else I have is dark, dampy. So I'm gonna have to start picking up some more of these. These are amazing. LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner. Pick them up. Pick all of them up. They're so they feel so good. They don't tug on your lips. Oh my gosh, I love them. And they're three dollars. Sometimes on sale for a dollar seventy. Very affordable. So. that you have to sharpen for them to be so smooth. It's amazing. I like it. Okay, so here's the So Chili. Let's write my right hand, the purpley. Oh, she's 
Okay. What is that scent? It's like, I don't know, I'm gonna look it up and see if it says, it's, it's almost like cinnamon, vanilla, something or another. That's pretty. It's not as glossy. These are, it's the Luxe Gloss, okay. It's almost like, hybrid lipstick but just glossy <laughs> that is pretty and that's not what I was going for at all it matches everything it just pulled all together okay wait I hate when I do that all right I hope I'm <laughs> washing my hands <laughs> cheese lips. <laughs> okay, that's it. So, okay, let me tell you really quick about um, what I think. So, for the eyeshadow palette, um, it was surprisingly good. Um, when I swatched it, I was like, not feeling like I was going to get a good um, performance out of these, but they did well. It took a lot of blending. It wasn't something I could just put on and go, but when you take your time and really, you know, blend and, and try to make sure that everything is in the right place, it'll come out good, but yeah, it took a minute, okay? And the... Um, I did put the glitter, just a little bit, of the orange one. This one was, what was this called? Oh, Cozy Glow. The Cozy Glow, yeah, put that up there. Very pretty. If you use a very small detailed brush, it can help you get it into small areas. And you don't need a lot, a little bit. Like these will probably be dried out before I use them all up. It was very pretty. I really, really like it. I thought it was going to be loud, and it's not. And um, the lips, oh my gosh, this is surprising. I thought it was going to be really glossy, and it's not. It's, it's. I, I guess I've never tried this formula before, so I need to pick up a couple more. I will pick up a couple more, but um, it does, it feels good. It's not, like, slippery, but it's also not sticky. It's, um... It's like a hybrid gloss. This is a very interesting formula, but I really, really like it. And I do like how everything came together. If I had to give, just in its entirety, a number on a scale from zero to five, I would probably say a four. Yeah, I would say a four. Um, because the whole concept of it was very nice. I do like... Um, that uh, the collab went across several different products. You can have lots of different things in that um, series. We kind of feel like it's a collector's item. Um, but I just wish that the um, the eyeshadow was a larger size, number one, and then included some more of the colors that were all over the packaging. There's blue, and there's um, the red, and there's even white none of that is here so it's kind of surprising to see these shades go along with what's all over the packaging so um, other than that they all performed fairly well um, as I said you have to get used to the formula and really take your time to blend um, and then you would get a nice turnout so that's it let me fix my wig this is kind of cute like this um, hmm, I need a head baby. Yeah. There we go. Got some pink in there. It's got some, um, a little bit of purple. Mostly blue. Hello? Blue. I mean, if it's all over the packaging, I would have really liked, you know me, I would have loved to have seen some blue. <laughs> 
but that's it so thank you all for being here with me please put your comments down below um what you thought of this look um do you have this palette were you one of the ones who were um who was online trying to get the palettes before everything sold out or do you really not like Hello Kitty? Like, tell me what you think down in the comments below. And I hope to get more subscribers. I would love to have some more subscribers to help this channel grow. Everyone here is very nice, respectable. We pray for one another. We give each other um, good uh, advice on different uh, boxy charm stuff, on makeup, on hairstyles. And I would love to have you be a part of our channel so please subscribe and then tap the bell because I am in the, in the middle of my um, vlogmas today was number eight and this is the look I mean like what do you think I mean I don't know if it's a, a holiday look but you know I'm making my way all the way up to 15 looks I don't have much longer so I need to get some fire up under my butt and I just thank you for being here and I hope I have your encouragement and you know what we say around here so ladies whether it is day or evening whatever it is wherever you are I hope that it is good don't forget to pray we really really need it and don't forget to slay what y'all think did I slay this y'all let me know down